Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another uh, craft with me. I um, have been watching a little bit of my uh, inspiration playlists as I shared in a few videos ago, how I keep track of all of those. So I was just kind of lounging, uh, still got this uh, horrible cough. So I've been checking out some videos and so I watched um, the Christmas craft to craft off 2023 Rachel Bella crafts collaboration and junk journal joy did a video on that collaboration called she called it interactive sleeve envelopes so I wanted to go ahead and do my take on it but I want to give full credit to her for her idea in the use of envelopes it was epic now she used envelopes from the kit I'm cutting my own using my uh, cutting and folding my own using my envelope punch board so I've got that I mentioned in the previous video that I was going to get back on my silhouette and cut all these beautiful girls out with the machine but my sh my something's wrong I think it needs a firmware update or something but it's not working <laughs> so I was all ready to sit down with it today and do that and it's just not but I thought these turned out for it pretty good um, the only thing I don't like is you really can't see like the re reality of the hair and stuff but otherwise they were pretty easy to cut out by hand so we're going to be using those to embellish a little bit so let me show you what the idea was. Now I didn't like my prototype at all. I just wanted to show you basically the idea is that you have a large envelope and then so you and you've got this so you can tuck stuff into it but you've also got a smaller envelope that's acting as a belly band which was um, Junk Journal Joy's idea so I just glued on two sides there and then you've got this envelope that opens as well and I think did I leave that open? I did not. So we're going to play around with some variations. We're not going to decorate these on camera because I really just want to play with a couple of ideas for how to arrange these in a way that I like better. This will work fine and I'll probably still use it, but it was just not my favorite. These envelopes were too similar in size and I think that took away from the effect. <clears throat> so I've already prepared all of my papers and um, per the guidelines on the envelope punch board, I decided what, car what card size I wanted, cut my paper to size, and then I'm going to score them with you. But I made the notes on here so I don't have to keep looking at this teeny tiny, teeny tiny little print. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this bottom one because I think it's more standard. A four by four car uh, envelope, three by four and a half, and a four by six. So I think I'd like to start with that. So let's start with the largest envelope first. I'm just gonna set these other bits aside. And again, I've already cut this down to size. This is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Let's make sure though, because I've been a little bit, a little bit brain dead today. This cough is just, it's just relentless, relentless. And unfortunately, oh, it's just off a bit. Hopefully that's not gonna cause a problem. <clears throat> um, I called and talked to my doctor last Monday, told her I needed an albuterol inhaler like ASAP. They said they'd reach out, they didn't. Um, now I get a message, oh, now it's ready to pick up. And this is Sunday, so almost a week later is ridiculous. Now, I thankfully I had a backup, but I still am a backup from my sister, but I still needed, I still needed an inhaler. So, um, and the other thing is, I printed on both sides because I didn't really like the fact that this was just coffee dyed or echo dyed paper in the in the inside. So I decided to go ahead and print on both sides. So I'm going to think about this because whatever side you have down is going to be the outside. So I actually think I want this to be the outside. So I'm going to put it in like this. And I'm just going to take this little posty note off. And so we're going to score at 3 and 3 eighths. So in case you guys haven't used this before, <clears throat> once you cut your paper, you're just going to look for the score line that is associated with that size envelope. So I'm going to scooch that over and I'm going to go ahead and punch. And where's my, hopefully this is the right one. I don't know, or maybe this one. I think they're the same. Um, and then you, so you punch and then you score. So I score going up like this. <clears throat> I am using 
a 49 pound paper for my envelopes. So then you turn it to your next spot and then you're gonna line up. This can be tricky. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to ink that just a tad bit because I'm having trouble seeing it on this particular print. And you're just basically gonna line this little pointy thing up to that score line that we just did. Punch, <clears throat> score. Okay, and sometimes I can see it okay, like that one I can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and punch <clears throat> and score. Okay, turn and hopefully I didn't, this looks wrong. Something looks wrong here. What the heck did I do? Yeah, something's wrong. What did I do? What did I do? Because we've got this and this. So I'm overthinking it. Oh, no, it's right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, right here. Punch <laughs> and score. <clears throat> okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and fold these in. Well, actually fold them. I guess it could have gone either way because uh, you can score, you can fold it either way when you score it, it's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and just fold all these in. And then, oh, see it is off. You can see here it's off. I'm not sure if we can rectify that by just fudging that a little bit. Let's see if we can. That did not go as expected. Let's see if that helps a little bit. I don't know. I don't know, something's off. I think the paper was off. So we're gonna embrace imperfection right here. So that is funky. Let's see if we can do something different here. Let's see if I can crease that a little bit. Just to affect it a little bit so it's not so off and that is because my paper was probably the wrong size it was just short I could have swore it was right but the way that my printer prints both sides I have to print and I turn it over and print again and I it always um, takes off some of the paper some of the image so we've got that so let's go ahead and just burnish that a little bit okay and then we're going to go on to the next one. The bigger one, the biggest envelope is the hardest. Now, I also do not like this being so, so pointy and long. So I like to, I just kind of I spy where it's at in the envelope, and then I just trim it off and try to get it straight as straight as I can, like so. Pretty good. <clears throat> and then you can um, you can round those. I'm gonna. I was using the corner rounder in this, but it's just not very definite. So. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one here and just do a quick little um, rounding there. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to set that aside so we can continue moving on to the next one. And so the next size is a 4x4. Four four. And so this paper measures 6 and 7 eighths. So let's just make sure 6 and 7 eighths by six and seven eighths. Okay, that one should work out just fine. So we want to score this one at three and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, again, we don't have to worry about the direction because we can fold it any way we want after it is uh, scored. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the three and a half inch score line, punch, and score, turn. <clears throat> punch and score and I don't know if that one I got my scoring line off that's possible as well I'm not feeling like the sharp, sharpest crayon in the box today so it's the end of a long Thanksgiving Day weekend so I go back to work tomorrow coughing up along <laughs> of course <laughs> you know how that goes okay um, I just can't quite see that one because that is such a dark piece of paper so I'm just gonna try to ink that a little bit and see if I can see it a little bit better. Come on. Um, actually, let me ink a bit more. That's not quite doing it for me. 
it just changed my ink dauber so it doesn't clearly have enough ink on it <laughs> there we go much better so again we're gonna punch and score yeah this one looks to be better i can tell by the little divot over here so that's all right things happen and then what do we want so we've got this one here so yeah we'll just it doesn't really matter i think we'll go with this one on the inside actually is that just the same that is the same so let's flip it around I just thought this would be more interesting than, um, than, oh, that one's off too. Goodness gracious, Karen. What the what? Or maybe it's because it's a square. It's completely square envelope. That might be why as well. But we're off there. And it might be just user error because, goodness gracious, so much for, well, I guess I did call it a craft with me, right? <laughs> craft with me play with me there that's better just adjust it manually so I'm going to go ahead and put this in and that that peak well I'm going to cut it just a smidge because it's pointy and just put that right there and then fold that down and that's going to be our second envelope this will be interesting because it's going to be about the same height as that one so that is that one and then let's go for the next one is three and a three by four and a half so it is a six and a half by six and a half inch um, piece of paper and it's going to be scored at two and three quarters so find that mark and I'm going to be a little bit more precise with my um, with my lining up my this point to that previous score line I think that might be where I'm going awry here. Okay, so that's that. And I'm going to go ahead and ink this just for safe measure. Why is this not? Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Rough start. There we go. Okay. So there, and then we're going to go ahead and stick that in there. And I'm going to be a little bit, again, more careful right there, punch, and score. It's hard to get that all the way up there because this is such, so thick. I'm not sure if this is the one that came with the, with the punch board or not, but I think I can see that line this down. No, nope, can't, can't. Let's just ink it up. Okay, and then we can see that nice and beautiful and bright punch and score. Okay, I'm gonna fold that. And punch again. I think I'm doing better on this one, hopefully. Oh, you gotta, you gotta score it, or you gotta uh, score it, hun. There we go. Alrighty, let's see if we did any better here. Oh my goodness gracious, it looks better, somewhat. So let's go ahead and ink all these edges really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, one more envelope to ink, but I want to chat with you a second. So at the very beginning of the video, I said that I was not going to do any decorating. We might do one on camera just so you guys can see the whole process. Um, but I'm not going to, I don't want to glue these until we start messing around with the arrangement because I just was noticing something about one of the ways I had folded one of them and I think it would be better turned the other way and I want to kind of explain my thought process there when we get to that point. So that is that. Almost done. Now when, um, and I, I, I couldn't catch her name, she's French, 
uh, Junk Journal Joy. And so um, she actually was doing this very, very small. So she was printing the envelopes from the kit very small. And so her, her I think her whole project was a lot smaller than mine is going to be, but you can definitely do this however you choose. You could even do this with junk mail envelopes. Again, you could do it with any kind of envelope. I love envelopes. I think they're very versatile and there's just a lot you can do with them as far as um, junk journaling, journal making. Got a weird corner there. I'm not liking that at all. Let's see if we can fix that a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. The jury's still out. <laughs> That's a messy corner, but we are going to embrace the imperfection, and that is not straight either. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's not straight. Is that there? Maybe. Okay, do we got all the edges? Nope. Almost. Okay, so let me tell you what I was thinking. As I was inking these up. So this is our largest envelope. So we want, um, I think I want this one to fold with that lighter bit on the inside. Okay. Like that. Okay. So then when we're thinking about the next one, I had this other one turned this way. So I want to turn it the other way because it's a different print. It's a lighter, some lighter tones like that. Well, actually it would be this way, I believe. So let's, uh, we need to cut off. Ooh, I like that as the flap though. Isn't that cool? So let's just trim this off a little bit. I wonder if I could, um, I don't wanna make that crooked. So I'm gonna go bring my trimmer in really quick here, guys. My apologies. Hopefully I can at least um, kind of get a better idea if this is straight-ish. So I'm gonna back it up here and I'm gonna just try to match up those score lines and see if that helps me get a straighter cut here than what I'm doing by hand. Oh, that looks to be pretty good. Okay, I feel better about that. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe, still doesn't look straight, but Oh, it's not straight. Goodness sakes. Sometimes I can ice by it just by eye and I can do better though. That's oh, making it worse, Karen. Eh? Making it worse. Okay, we're gonna stop there because that was that was a disaster. Uh-oh. What? That's okay. So we've got that. I'm gonna round this little tip here. Did I round the tip on the other one? Let's see if we did. Uh, yes, we did. Okay, so that is envelope number two. And then, so then, again, the theory is if we're looking at colors, this goes like this. This one would be the second one, and I like that because it's breaking it up. But this one is a weird one because it is, it's similar on both sides as well. So let's look. So we see how we've got the blue, blue. So I think I'm gonna turn that one in. And uh, we didn't turn this, we didn't round this one. Sorry for the roughness of this video. That was not what I had planned tall okay so that's that one whoops wrong way this way okay so when arranging these we want to think about so this one's gonna go like this hmm it's tall it's taller than that why is it taller it should be exactly the same size hmm that's interesting and we have this one Okay, so I want this one to be open like this, or I want it to be like this. So the first envelope that you put on here, oh, this will work. We'll just make this one go up above a little bit. So the idea with the first one, 
goodness, with this one, is you make it into a pocket. I forgot to show you that on my prototype, but um, let's go ahead and glue these so that we can actually freely move along here. So I'm going to use my Barely Arts and I'm just gonna put a bit of glue on this edge. thinking about starting this video over, but I am not going to redo all these papers, so you guys are stuck with me. <laughs> oh, you know, some sometimes, I've been doing a lot of videos this weekend, guys, a lot, so um, maybe I'm fatigued and I'm just not paying much attention to that reality. It's very possible. I wonder if this one would be better on the back as the belly band thinking that this would be better as the belly band and maybe do this one as the um, little tuck here. So again, we're gonna go ahead and glue this one closed just on this little edge. And without having decorated my prototype, guys, I don't think I gave you a really accurate perspective about what this is actually, what we're, we're, what we're seeking here in this process. <laughs> So, um, so basically what we want to do is we want to make this into a belly band. So, or belly band, or pocket rather, not a belly band. So we're going to scooch this up and I'm going to kind of eye spy it from side to side here. Try to get it in the middle. And then I'm going to make a pencil line right here. And right here. I found my sharper pencil, by the way. And then, um, and then we will just make a line across, like about here. I'm just going to use the edge of my ruler to try to get a to try to get a good space there. And we're going to put glue all along those lines, making a little pocket. Okay, so we're going to just go like this. <clears throat> And like this. <clears throat> Sorry for the turning. And like that. And now we're going to set this envelope. Was it this one? No, it was this one. We're going to set this envelope on here. Right there. Okay. Right there. Uh oh. Got off on my measurements there. Don't think we got enough glue there. We will check that out in a second, see if it's adhered. Okay, so basically what you have here is a short little tuck spot right here. It's only that deep, okay? Hoping that's making sense. I feel like that's not straight, but we used the Barely Arts, so we're kind of stuck with it. But again, I embrace imperfection every day. And so, and then so that still lifts, which I actually like how that looks. Um, we could actually glue this below too because nothing is, uh, is going to be affected by that. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue uh, just around the outside edge there, just to stick that down. I wasn't quite thinking that through. I've never done this before. Okay, so then this lifts up and one could actually put something here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I actually kind of like the look of that. So that is our first two envelopes. I'll probably um, do some Velcro here. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just do a couple of Velcro dots. So I've got these tiny little low profile ones that work great for projects like this. Um, low, low profile. And we're gonna go ahead and stick that on there like so, and then close that baby up. Boom, like that. And we could actually do the same with this. Um, let's do that. Um, it's a, it's a easy way to get something to stay closed without doing a lot of, a lot of work. So I like to use them. You could also do magnets. I haven't really played a lot with magnets, so it makes, makes me a little bit nervous. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that down as well. Oh, I love this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, and then on this side, we're going to do a belly band. So let's go ahead and glue this envelope. 
as well. We're, we're not getting much of a change in, um, in uh, our project here as far as colors, just, um, just to let you know this is pretty similar, but I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, that would be nice, like that. But we want it like this because we wanna be able to access the envelope. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this edge just on that, that edge and then down a little bit on the side. And then, oh, I guess that does work. I wasn't doing it that way before. And then here, I was doing it on the flap itself, but this should work. Okay. Like so. I'm gonna put a little bit right here because that was a huge overlap here because of the just the shape of the envelope. Okay. It's kind of a strange one, but it is okay. And then that's gonna go here. Actually, I like this side though. Um, you know what I'm gonna do with this one? Because this is my party and I can do this if I want to. I am going to trim this off and I'm gonna just have it be an open slit. An open, like a, just a pocket rather than an envelope. I'm going to just make that executive decision and I'm just going to cut it off right about at the top of those things right there. I love that we can do that. I love it. love it. We can change our mind. We can do what fancies us. And so now we've just got a pocket there, which I like that. I like that a lot because I can put it, I can put a thumb notch. Let's do that. We'll put a thumb notch there. We'll put it here. I actually want to cut that down just a little bit so it's not sticking up over the top. But I'm not sure why, because I thought this was a four inch, a four inch um, envelope. So I'm really confused about that. So I'm just going to do that one more time, just a little bit more off. That should do it. Boom, 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 boom. And we're here. And we're here. Oh, I love that. Let me grab my circle punch. I hope you guys are still here and you're not losing your ever-loving mind watching me tonight. Although it's not tonight for you. I don't even know. I'm so far ahead now. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and I forgot about my tea. So I'm drinking out of my little Grinch cup. My little who. Every who down in Whoville, the, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. So now my tea is barely warm because I've been sitting here yakking. <laughs> there we go. So that's going to be a little bit of a pocket belly band. So that means it's going to have a pocket here and then it's going to also be a belly band. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on two sides. So actually I'm going to use my, uh, yeah, I better use the Barely Arts. I don't want too much of a, my, my, stuff to be taken up by glue. There we go. Belly band. And then I'm going to just try to eye spy it because I don't have a time to move it. So I'm just going to put it on here and we're going to commit just like that. This is what I was hoping for guys that I would be able to just be free to make make some changes and decide what we wanted to do and how we wanted it to look. So when this goes in a journal though it's going to go this way because it's too wide to go to go this way. So I'm going to look at this. It is six almost six and a half inches tall uh, but it is only four and an eighth inches wide which is perfect. So um, so, but that's not the magical part. Now this is going to slip into a belly band. So it's going to open like that. We can put goodies in there. It's going to open like that. We can put goodies in there. It's got a little pocket here for some, some slim stuff. And then you turn it over. You've got a pocket. You've got a pocket here. Or a belly band here. And a pocket. I can get a hold of it. I'm going to show you maybe, and then a pocket there. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Now we need the belly band. So what I was thinking was, I'm kind of bummed about this because nothing is going to be able to be in here. 
Um, oh, you know what? I could still do the belly band the lengthwise. Let's try that because I don't want anything to encumber. I want to be able to stick something out of that pocket since I've gone to that trouble. So what I grabbed is I did print a couple of digitals on some uh, vellum. And so I thought these would be great to use. So, but we need to be able to have it go this way because we have to do two different pieces to make it big enough. So let's go ahead and, oh, that's purple. Oh, bad print. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this over here. Bring my trimmer over. And I remember this now, I ran out of ink, so I've got purple on my vellum. I'm not gonna throw it away, vellum is too expensive. So we'll do that, and then let's go ahead and trim. Um, oh, and I already cut this. It's going to have to go this way because I already folded that. It was going to be a page in the journal, apparently. So sorry for the flipping and flopping. Goodness gracious. So let's go ahead and do a about a two-inch belly band here. Okay. We're going to have to glue these together to make them work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I think I'll take, yeah, we'll just continue with this, this um, part of the pattern. Another one here. Hopefully those are going to be the same. We'll find out, won't we? what we can do is go like this and then I feel like I just need to extend this just rawly here just extend it I'm gonna go ahead and just glue those together hopefully I'm not gonna regret this just playing guys just playing I'm just gonna stick that on there and just give it a press and let it sit a minute. It looks like it cut them exactly, perfectly. That was awesome. Okay, so, and if I put something on this, I can actually have that seam be, um, let's see, let's see what we wanna do. I think I want that seam to be in the middle of the front, believe it or not, okay because I know I can cover that up with some embellishing. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this over and I'm gonna try to get this straightish and I'm going to um, pull this one pretty firm, this end, but the other end I'm going to make it a little bit looser so we have a little bit of room to grow. So about like that, I'll show you that in a second. I've got about an eighth of an inch Okay, so now we can cut off this excess and we can straighten this all out. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim that off there. Okay, and this is going to be glued to the journal page, so not a problem at all in terms of what the back looks like. Okay. <clears throat> At least that's my thought process. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up and then we'll glue that. This is a rough go. <laughs> Fun though, I don't usually do this. I usually come to the table more prepared. So this has been kind of, kind of interesting for me to not be quite so together. We have three weeks of school and then we have Christmas break, which is why I love working for the school district. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and, um, and then actually this could be the front, right? That could actually be the front, which I kind of like that better. Yeah, 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 yeah. So can you guys see um, the edge of the, the envelope is right here. As you can see, we've got a little bit of room there um, between that and the fold that's gonna go around it. Let me just ink that up a little bit. And so we're gonna go ahead and glue that together. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on this part of my vellum. Okay, go ahead and just fold that up. 
was being careful to not mess up my my little fold that I'd already created and making sure that it's not going through. So I'm just going to press it here just to make sure that's all okay. And I think I've um, got some curling there, but that's okay. So we've got our seam here. So I'm thinking I want to put a little something there, but I can do that once I get this on the envelope. So I, I guess I'm thinking that I want it to go on here this way. like so and so when it goes in the journal this is going to get glued down all the way to the journal so I love that idea so let me I'm thinking I want a little piece of lace there so let me see if I've got something just handy here in my basket my project basket um, that's not too difficult to find here or actually, we could put one of our flowers on. Let me grab those. So, let me show you what I have. <coughs> so we've got these ones, which I feel is, is a lot on this project, but we've got the smaller ones, which I'm leaning towards. So that could solve that problem. And we could put a little piece of something underneath it too, just to make sure that that seam is completely covered. Could have done that differently and I would not have had to worry about this, but we're creating on the fly tonight a little bit. Um, actually, you can't really see it because the flower is wide enough. So I don't like any of this like netting stuff to show. I can't help it. So that's gonna go there, okay? I am loving this. Glad I took the chance here. Something I was not sure at all was going to even be good at all. So there we go. We're going to put that right there. Okay. Look at that. Epic. So I'm going to just find a quote or word here. Let me just reach. Get my body in your way. And let's find a quote here. I think I want a smaller one that could fit on there. So, uh, and if I was a bird, I would fly about the earth seeking the successive autumns. Um, how beautifully leaves grow old, how beautiful, how full of light and color are their last days. Autumn whispered in the wind, I fall, but always I rise again. Ooh, I like that. I like that. So these quotes are linked in the um, in the supply list over on my blog. There's too many to list on the on social media, guys. So um, it's a long list. I'm just going to trim that just to make sure it fits. Okay. But I resized them, so this is the normal size. Let me just show you. This is the normal size, and this is uh, two to a page. So I like to have the choice for both when I'm creating. So I almost automatically resize words and quotes. And then we can put that somewhere, maybe down here. Oh, it's still too, too wide. That is very strange. Very strange. I don't know if we can go much smaller. We have to just, oh, it is. I was looking at the wrong line. I think I feel like I want something underneath that so give me a quick second I know I'm fiddling a lot here I've got a bit of this <clears throat> I'm just gonna cut a bit of this off of this piece of this vintage something that I got from the estate sale and it coffee dyed all of this it's this is what it looked like and these make this fabric here makes amazing pockets. I'll be using that in the journal. In fact, I'll put it in a basket just so I don't forget. So I like to put a little bit of this under my under my words and such, just to create a little bit of interest. Just chop it up. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and put that down right here. I'm just going to use that line in the print as my guide. 
go ahead and do that. Okay, so I will stuff this thing full and you'll be able to see that in the photos at the end of the video. But I just wanted to see, wanted you to see the variation here. We're gonna try one more. If this, is, if this video gets too long for you, please feel free to speed me up. You can speed me up to one and a half times the normal rate and I don't sound completely deranged, which is a bonus. And I wanted to use one of the girls too. I didn't use a girl. Darn it. Let's see. I don't know. I think they're all too big to put on here. But wouldn't she be beautiful on here? Oh my gosh. Wouldn't she be lovely? Oh. You know what? I'm going to make it work. Let's see if we can pull it. Oh, we can. Yay. We're going to put her in on here. Yes, yes. She's perfect because she's going to bring out some of this print of this um, flower here. I just noticed that and I found it very appealing. So we're going to do it. <coughs> I forgot about my girls. I did, I did. So I'm going to put her right here. I don't want her sticking out too much because, uh-oh, Kara Renee, you can't do that. Get a piece of parchment here. <laughs> Oh my word, sometimes I have to question my sanity. So I'm sliding that under there so that that doesn't stick to the envelope that's below. Oh my heavens. Okay, let's stick our flower back on. Where did you go, flower? Did I just throw you on the floor? Where's the flower? Seriously, where did it go? Oh, it's under me. <laughs> and we're just going to kind of put this down here by her feet. It's going to look like she doesn't have any feet, but that's okay. I want to do it. And one of the reasons why I could do that is because this is being glued onto vellum. Largely, that's why it's working. Oh, I love that. Barring the, you know, parchment paper here. Let me just trim that off so you can get a better idea. There we go. So let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay, so let's see what we have. I, I'd like to do something with a little bit different colors. This is so pretty though. Oh my gosh, I love these images. But they are very the same. So we're going to work with this one. So let's see how we're doing. Eight and an eighth. So this is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. That's A, A2 size. So we're going to score this one at um, three and three quarters. And I do want, what do I want? I do want this on the outside. So let's go ahead and stick this in here and we're going to go three and three quarters. envelope number one so beautiful I'm actually doing this the opposite of what I just said but I'm loving that image so I think it's quite different so let me um, I'm gonna go ahead and score all of them and then ink them and I'm gonna come back when we're ready to make some decisions so that one is scored and I'm gonna ink and I'll be right back Okay, I've got one more envelope. I thought I would just go ahead and come back to you so you didn't think I'd left you. So this is the last envelope for this, um, this set. So this one measures six by six. Just going to make sure. <laughs> so it's slightly off. Um, yeah, it's close enough. Close enough. So we're going to score at two and five eighths. So I'm finding that mark right there. And we're going to go ahead and punch and score. And sometimes I can see the line okay, and other times I cannot. Depends on the print. So there we go. Keep on going. Keep on chugging. I love this envelope punch board though. 
And when I first got it, I had no idea how to use it. I had to, I had to YouTube it. I felt very foolish until I found out there was a lot of people that experienced the same thing. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> okay, let's get that out of the way. So let's go ahead and just do our inking on this last one. And we're just, I'm not going to decorate this one. I will just show you what arrangement will work together on the arrangement of the envelopes because I love these colors. Um, the, the really bright orange I think is really pretty in this these images. So we're going to really try to accentuate that. I'm going to call that good on that inking. I'm tired of inking. So let's get the big one back in. So at first I was thinking I wanted this image, but I'm not sure now. I think... I want let's just try it out and see what we think as this is all folded together and that would be our base it's really gorgeous isn't it and then this one would be our next one and it could be this lighter kind of complementary colors I'm loving that and then this is our last one and then we want to go we got light colors on that one too maybe we'll turn this one the other way I'll just Again, playing around, guys, to see what we like. I like that. And then this one could be the, um, the lighter colors. Okay, that's a different shape. What do you think? I'm actually feeling like I want this one to be the other way. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to do that. So, let's go ahead and glue this one and... Um, I'm going to trim this off again. Just a little too long for my liking. I'm not sure how straight that's going to be, but I'm not going to. It's not straight at all. Oh my goodness, it's not straight at all. Okay. <clears throat> and then, um, oh, that was the bottom. Not like it's really gonna sh show so I'm not too concerned about it it's not straight at all though that's really bugging me not straight at all make sure my computer doesn't go to sleep it's been a long video let's go ahead and round that corner ink that up okay so let's go ahead and glue this one so we're gonna go that looks really weird i should have left that longer but you know what it doesn't matter it is okay we embrace imperfection <laughs> i have said that a lot in this video i wonder why why only my tried and true followers will stay for this video <laughs> when i start getting all rambly you guys got to watch out. Okay, so that's that. Okay, I love that. I love that a lot. So, um, but I'm really thinking I want this orange to be here. Oh, but that's not really what's going to show. So let's make sure that we get it like that. Or... Like that. I believe it needs to be the darker orange. So we're going to go with that. So we're going to fold that one in, in, and in. And I'm just going to trim that barely. I'm not going to make that same mistake. Maybe I glued that other one wrong. You know, the other flaps could have been on the outside. I don't know. I don't know. Jury's still out. <laughs> Those just look weird because it's a square envelope so we're going to go ahead and glue this actually I'm going to go back to gluing this edge it's going to make contact with what it wants to make contact with okay same here <clears throat> like so okay so this one would be our little um, oh, yeah, we want this to be on our flap, kind of like we did, be or do we want it to be on the flap? Or do we want to do something different? We could do a little flippy out. I'm not sure that I want to do that, or a flippy down. 
I didn't think about this. Let's see. Nope, I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to stick with what we've been, what we did before, which is to do a little, um, a little um, pocket here. So we're just going to do the same. I'm sorry, I'm not being very inventive right now, but it is what it is. Okay, still going to be totally cool. Um, if you ever tried this, you could definitely um, give it your own flavor. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue this way and just guess. <clears throat> and then here and here. Okay. Uh, Junk Journal Joy, she actually just um, used a glue stick, which I was really surprised by. I've never done that before. I don't use glue sticks. I do not like them. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like glue sticks. <laughs> I don't mind them for collaging, like if I'm doing a master board, but they're still not preferred even in that regard. I've got that line is showing. I'm going to try to erase it. <clears throat> it's really... Uh, this is like a number seven um, lead, so it's pretty dark. This one I'm not feeling very good about that. I don't know why that looks like that unless I just did that all wrong, but we're going to embrace it. So that is our little pocket. And then if this flips up like that, and I love that, it's not even at all, but <coughs> it's okay. So let's go ahead and try our Vel Velcro here. You could do, you could play around with other closures. If I ever did this again, I, I would spend some time and really kind of explore all the possibilities and, and take full advantage of this, this opportunity, but I just don't have it in me right at the moment. Okay, there and there. And, um, almost feel like I want to put something there to cover that up. Let me see if I can cut a quick circle. Um, but if I cut a circle, it's going to show below unless I can cut a small enough one. So, but that's too small. So I'm going to embrace it. <laughs> embrace it. But I just love this idea of this coming up and down. And then we've got this little pocket here. It's not very deep. It's only, let's see how deep it actually is in inches. Not very deep. It is um, about an inch. So something really small will go in there. And then we can turn her over and we can do our last envelope on this side, which now that I'm going to put it on this side, I feel like it needs to go the other way. So we can change our mind. It's okay. Pretty forgiving yeah I think I want it to go like that because I really like that orange so let's um, I'm gonna just trim that a little bit oh, it's risky I know it's risky there we go and then I just sliced into that <laughs> I'm 10 for 10 I think <laughs> so let's go ahead and glue this closed Oh my goodness gracious, Kara Renee, you are just so hilarious. Not really. Not really. Oh, I've got it too far though. Let me wipe some of that off. That looks ridiculous. Right there, it looks ridiculous. Let's see if I can fix it without making it worse. Oh, that's actually better. Surprise, surprise. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and round this little baby. And then we are going to be done. I bet you thought that moment would never come. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I will put some stuff in these for the photos at the end and I hope that you guys will give it a try because I think it's really an epic 
idea. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to, oh, I've got something in there. I'm going to go ahead and put some Velcro here. And then we're going to make our belly band out of this one, which is exactly the same as what we did on the other one. So I think I'm out of steam. So um, I would encourage you to try the project if you, if you like it, if you're so inclined. Um, and let me know what you think. But this one we're going to do a belly band because it's a nice big space. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to put a bead of glue on the two sides. I will make the belly band part of this uh, off camera, guys. And you guys can check the photos at the end. So making sure that I'm going the right direction because that would be bad news. So I'm going to go ahead and set this on here. Kind of in the middle-ish. Okay, like that. Hold it up. I like to hold it up. That sometimes can help with your perspective. So there we go, guys. That is one, and this is the one we actually finished. I think we're good to take that piece of parchment out. Yeah. And so that's our little belly band with our little girl. Isn't that just precious? Oh my gosh, I love this. So I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.